just here, have a look at this. There they are, keep going, go, go! <laughs> oh. Well, they're way too quick for me to catch them. There was a big, big, about five or six kangaroos just floating around here. Look at this country. This is what I like to call God's country. Woohoo! What's going on, doggies? Welcome back to another video. And welcome to Australia. We have finally made it home. I'm back in my hometown, Australia, and it is probably one of the best feelings in the world. So I just went running through the bush there, chasing a couple of kangaroos. It is bloody amazing to be home. So today, what we're doing, what we've got on the cards today is a catch and cook. So I've been traveling down this track for actually quite a while now, trying to find the coast. It's way up that way. So we've got the new rig. I'll run you, through, I'll run you guys through this car in a little while, but um, we're home, baby, and it feels bloody good. We've got beanies on, we've got jackets on, tracky pants and work boots. I promised myself that I would never put these work boots on ever again. And um, as soon as I got outside, it was that cold. I had to chuck them on. It is that cold right now. We are currently sitting at, I don't know if you guys can see this. Where is it? Can you see that? Four degrees, man. So right now it is four degrees, freezing cold. A little bit different from those bloody Indonesian mornings, but I am so pumped right now. All right, we're gonna keep punching up this track, find the ocean, go catch some fish on the noodle rod, do, noodle rod, do a catch and cook. I can't even contain my excitement right now. I've been waiting for this for a long time. Let's do this, man. So sick. everywhere mate. Good morning! How you going big dog? Well there she is, the big blue. Look at her. Absolutely frothing. All right we're gonna put the noodle rod to work. We're gonna go chase a very vicious fish today. is it so this is a place i used to come to like i don't know six or seven years ago when i was like way back in the day and we used to get heaps of like taylor herring all that kind of stuff here so that is what we're going for today we're just going to put the noodle rod to the absolute test so there's a tiny little patch of reef which is sitting at the back there you can see the waves breaking on here in here is a nice beautiful little bit of a gutter and it used to be a pretty good fishing spot. We've got a couple of nice mulloway off the back here before us. All I want to do today is catch a fish and cook it up. The first, the, actually this is going to be the very first catch and cook in Australia. So let's get moving. I'm going to set up the noodle rod and um, let's get out there. If we get a tailor on the noodle rod, I'm going to be absolutely froth towning. Because that's like, um, that's, just, that's just absolutely going to be dope. Too good, man. It actually looks really, really, really bloody good out there. I am so excited to get out there. All right, we've got two rods. We've got the noodle rod. We've got a little bit of a bigger rod, but I think I'm just gonna start off with the noodle rod. It's um, it's looking pretty good. There's a little bit of weed in the water, but, boy, look at this. I can't even get out there quick enough. How do you open this thing? Brand spanking new noodle rod. Look at this. She's brand new. All right, hold up, hold up. We're getting way too bloody excited right now. What we're gonna do first is we're gonna do a super quick barista session because, look, you just can't start the day without a bloody coffee, can you? So this thing hasn't, this thing hasn't been started in four or five years and it just started first crack. All right, let's go. We need to get some fish on the board. This thing hasn't been cleaned in about four or five years. 
Here we go, fill her up. Right, I fire this bad boy up again. The billy is gonna go straight on there. A little bit of shit floating around in there, but it should be right. Right, oh, that's that done. Cup, boom, coffee. This is literally about three years old, but it's gonna have to do. All right, that'll do for now. All right, let's get this noodle rod set up. I'm getting out there. That's good. Get your hands all nice and toasty. All right, so the fish that we're gonna target today is something called a tailor. And they're just, they're like a super vicious, very, very sharp teeth fish. If you're from WA or Australia, you know what a tailor is, but a lot of people that watch these videos aren't from Australia. So probably because the noodle rod is such a light setup, we'll just use a little baby popper, something like that. Usually these are pretty dynamite in this area where they were a few years ago anyway. So we'll bang this little popper out. And if the noodle rod, it's too much, it's not enough smoke for these fish, we'll um, get the bigger rod out, but well, we've got to see if it's fishy here first anyway. It is looking pretty bloody good though. We'll give it a run. Holy moly, that'll get the heart going. Oh, that's lovely. Just dump in a bit of this water and we are going fishing. Good paw, good paw, great paw. Look at it all going down there. Yeah. Look at that, we're out of here. Neck this coffee. What I've done, I've just quickly changed that to a little 10 gram. This is a really old lure we used to use in Indonesia because I remember now that there's a hole out the back there where we used to get a lot of fish. So I need to be able to cast out way out past that breaker and that little popper won't make it out far. So I'm gonna change the lure up quickly there's another hole here where you can see the waves aren't breaking, so one there, one there. Let's get it. Smash this coffee. We're going to get into it. <laughs> Welcome to Australia. I have missed this like you wouldn't believe. Oh, look at them all. There's about 50 there. 50, 50 of them. Look. Yes, there we go. <laughs> That's a herring again. Man, there's so many out there. Look at him in this jumping in the waves. <laughs> this is what it's all about. I am getting a fish every single cast. So these little suckers here, I don't know, I'll get these hooks out because that's deadly. So that there is a herring and that is actually a massive herring. That's quite a big herring right there. See the two black dots on its tails, the, the yellow eye, all of the beautiful yellow dots down inside there. That there is a beautiful herring. I'm going to keep this one just in case we don't get Taylor, but Look, to be honest, there are hundreds. Of, I'm getting a fish every cast. So um, what I might do is get a couple more of these beautiful fish. We can cook one of these up later, but what I want to do is get a tailor. So I might have to put on a bigger lure and we'll see if we can get a tailor. But I'll put this guy out of his misery. We'll see if we can get a couple more. This is hella fun on the noodle rod. All right, second cast, here we go. What? There we <laughs> this is like, this is actually ridiculous. That lure just hit the water. I had three wines and we've got another one on. There are hundreds of them out there. Look at the rod. Did it? Did it? Did Oh, there he goes. That is incredible. Watch this. Ready? You don't even have to cast far. Wind it in as fast as you can. Oh, they're after it. Look at them all, look at them all. Oh my God, there's like hundreds there. Come on. There we go, that's a fish. Every cast. All right, I'm gonna keep this one for breakfast and we're gonna chuck on a different fishing setup. This is where you lose them every time. Go, get him up. Lovely. <laughs> Check this out. 
It is so much fun. There is another beautiful little herring. They're actually pretty good sized fish there. So that well, probably isn't a big fish in reality the fish that get caught. But these are a beautiful little bread and butter fish. Killer. I'm gonna chuck them in the esky. I might get one more just in case we don't get any tailor today, but that is a killer fish. We'll get one more and then I'm gonna step up the gear to a bit, 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 I can't even speak English. I'm fizzing that hard. I'll step it up to a little bit of a bigger lure so these guys don't attack the lure, but <laughs> froth stations right now, boy. Watch this, ready? I'm just gonna bang it out on the edge of that foam there. Just let it go under the surface and start winding. Which five, four, three, that's a fish. Every single cast. <laughs> Are you kidding? Oh, well, we're definitely not in Indonesia anymore, that's for sure. This is incredible. Another little specimen. Oh, that's a good fish. That one's a little bit bigger. That's breakfast for sure. Beautiful. So sick. That is the best fun you can have with your pants on. Look at this. I've still got coffee and it's still hot. That's how crazy the fish are out there. There's millions of them. So what I'm going to do, because those, there's just hundreds of them, like every single cast I'm getting a herring. So we've got three herring right now for breakfast, which is perfect. It's a perfect amount of food for breakfast. But I come here to get a tailor. So I haven't caught tailor in years, obviously, because we've been stuck in Indonesia. So we're going to chuck on a little bit bigger of a lure, maybe a popper or a big stick bait. Chuck it way, way out there. Because that's where you want to be. You want to be casting into these foamy areas. And the noodle rod is just coming short, even though I put, put a metal lure on. So change our lures up, get out there, and hopefully we can pick up a tailor before that sun comes up too high. Mate, I tell you what, if something doesn't want to eat that, they have serious issues. So that is a Tempest 110 floating stick bait. Absolute dynamite for Taylor. Sick lure. I've got that on the Surtate 3000, the Daiwa reel. Same rod and reel we're using in Indo. So hopefully, fingers crossed, what we can do, we can pull a Taylor off the reef here. It is getting a little bit on in the day. It's now 9.49 in the morning. So I'm a little bit late, but um, we have got a beautiful feed. We've got three big dog herring in the esky down there. See if we can pick up a tailor because that's what I come for. But if not, it is all good, man. Look at this. This is what I live for. I've missed this. It's so sick. Wait. Oh yeah, <laughs> look at that thing go. That's what I'm talking about. That is in the danger zone, man. Come on. Big tailor. Oh, oh my God, that's first cast in the danger zone oh my god we've got a tailor that's got to be a tailor that's good why well, we've got a good fish on here that's first cast <gasps> wow are you actually kidding me dude i'm well, not even joking first cast with that 10 110 mil lure and we're on this is a good fish mate this is a not this is no herring <laughs> hey, the old secret spot, hey? Still holds fish after five years. Come on, get up here. Are you, oh, that was just hectic. My reel just went psycho, I've got a knot in the line. We've got the fish we came for, a douche. <laughs> you have got to be kidding me. Very, very first cast with that lure. And check this out. That is the fish we've actually come for this morning. So that is a tailor and it is, oh, I can't believe the first cast, mate. So that is a beautiful little tailor. So these have to be 300 millimeters long and you can keep eight of these fish. Or if they're over 500 millimeters long, you can only keep two. So these grow pretty big, but look at that. Big set of teeth on there. Absolute dream boat fish. First cast. That is unbelievable. So I'm gonna keep him in the esky. That's, we've got a beautiful, beautiful breakfast now. We've got three herring, one tailor. That is enough for me. I don't need any more fish for the day. 
The rest is going to be catch release. That's killer. Let's see if we can get one second cast. Absolutely beautiful fish. Welcome back to Australia. Every cast you get a fish. That's incredible, mate. Woo! Oh, oh yeah, that is what I'm talking about. That is good. Oh, that's a fish. That's another fish, man. Is it? Nah, it's got to be weed. Uh, <laughs> seaweed. Oh no, it's a fish, man. That's a tailor. Oh my goodness. You're joking. We've got another one on. Second cast after that fish. That's... <laughs> Yeah, that's a tailor. That's a beautiful one. Look, same size. Big jumps, big jumps onto the beach. Look at that. Come on, big dog. Look at this. That is another beautiful tailor. Look at this. Second cast after I got that first one. I'm about to get a hook in my hand here. But that is another beautiful tailor. Same size. Maybe a little bit smaller than the first one, but he has absolutely... Whoa, there goes my fingers. He's absolutely nailed this slua. If I can stop him from dancing around, look at that. Hooks perfectly in the side of the mouth. That is another specimen of a fish. I've got enough fish to last me. I've got enough fish for breakfast anyway, so... I'm gonna let this little baby go. Whoa! Ah! Ah, 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 stop! I legitimately just said, I'm just about to get a hook in my hand, and look at that. The hook just went straight into my hand, and luckily I just got it out before the barb went into my skin. I love this shit, eh? This is the best. Look at that, three hooks in my pan, the whole entire barb went in there, three of them. One, two, three at separate times. Be careful when you're playing with slippery fish, kids. Anyway, let's get this guy back in the water. Let's see if we can get three for three. This is incredible. See ya. Look at him go. Yes. Wow. He definitely did a number on my hand, that's for sure. All right, let's go get another one. This is too good to be true. <laughs> All right, here we go. Cast number five. This has got to get the fish. Ready? Watch this. Number five, we're gonna get a fish, and guess what? We've got another tailor on right now. That he has absolutely smashed that lure. Look at that, the hooks are completely gone. Five casts after the last one, we got a fish. This place is dynamite. This place used to be amazing like five years ago, and it still is. Look at that, epic. We'll get, actually, I might keep this one for a little bit of a feed at home tonight. Or we'll do a cook up down the beach. We'll start a fire for dinner. That's, that's amazing. Look at that. Beautiful fish. <laughs> I'll tell you what. We did bloody all right. So I am done for the day. I don't need any more fish. We've got three beautiful herring, two big tailor. That's plenty of food for me. That we are going to have one hell of a breakfast. All I wanted to do was come down here and do a catch and cook video and we've got the food all we need to go do is cook it now so the wind is actually picked up it's pretty strong it's like a strong south westerly wind right now so fishing's over it's done for the day this spot is an absolute little fire spot still holds fish i used to come here many many years ago so what i'm gonna do probably what i'll do is just cook the herring if i can get this esky open oh man what's going on here hey righto I'm just going to cook up the three herring that we got, so pretty much all I'm going to do, instead of filleting this fish, I'm just going to scale it and we'll cook it whole. So we'll just rip these scales off this fella. Three herring, cook them whole. It's going to be killer. 
So if I'm gonna cook a little fish like this whole, usually what I do, rip the gills out. You don't need the gills like that. Take the guts out and you've just left with a perfect little frame full of meat. It's gonna be good. It's quite, and it's so easy to clean fish this way. Like that's it, it's done. Nothing inside, the gills are gone. That there just goes straight on the frying pan, no scales. That's perfect. So I'll do this to the other two in here. And then um, we're on. Look at these big tailor. All right, so those, fill those fish have been cleaned. I've just had to spin the car around so because that wind is actually starting to push a fair bit. So fish are cleaned. They're ready to go straight on the frying pan. And um, I probably haven't introduced you guys properly to this big rig, rig yet. So this is my brand new car absolutely frothing with it so it's a big dirty toyota land cruiser troop carrier it is an absolute beast i'm currently trying to build it up into a car which, which we can completely live out of but for now it's pretty good just sitting on 35s three inch lift pretty much slowly just trying to do it up into a car where we can absolutely completely live out of so we need to do a lot of work on the inside but right now i'm happy everywhere i've pointed this car it's gone front and back diff lock gxl model it is just it's my dream car so i'm pretty frothed with it we've got a lot of work to do on the inside here trying to turn this into an actual house but for now i'm pretty happy this is going to be our kitchen for this morning right here i'll do a full rundown video of the car in another video but right now we've got some beautiful herring to chuck straight on the frying pan so let's get stuck into that all right welcome to the field day kitchen here we go so little bit of oil completely in this random jar so all of these things that i'm going to be cooking with today are like four to five years old so i've had like an old box of camping gear which is this stove this frying pan this knife it's all been sitting in a storage unit for like a long time probably four years since i've used it so if i get sick see what happens that coffee this morning went down like an absolute treat but um yeah we'll see how we go this salt is probably going to be all right, we'll see how we go. Anyway, what I'm going to do with these fish, we're just cooking them whole, exactly like that, straight on the frying pan. I'm just going to chuck three slices down its side, just so it cooks a little bit quicker, you know? Just like that. Three slices on the fish. We're going to rub salt into each of those fish, chuck them on. Actually, we'll fire this bad boy up now. Every time, without a doubt, she fires up. Righto, let's do this. A little bit of ancient salt. I'm gonna smash that on there. Give that a good rub. Get the salt in the in those cuts you've made. Oh, same on the other side. Cooking these bad boys whole is always the best way because when you fill them, you lose a lot of meat. They're not big fish, so one, two. And the big boy, that's quite big for a herring, that one there. Look at that, three fish in the frying pan. With views like this, how's that for a kitchen? And just like that, breakfast is served. So we're gonna go take a seat down here somewhere. I've got no chairs, I've got nothing in the car right now. So full primitive style, not so primitive with a frying pan, but you know what I mean. Let's just sit down here, have a hell feed. Look at the views, and we might even go for a 4B mission. Look at that, that's breakfast. That is a breakfast of champions. Here we go, the first fish I've caught in Australia in a bloody long time. Look at that, juicy white. Oh man. Look at this. That is why, that, this is the best way to start a day. I don't even know what I'm going to do for the rest of the day. I'm just going and explore. It's pretty windy right now. Wow. That was actually an incredibly bloody good session fishing. It was like nearly every cast we got a fish. So sick. I'm so excited for this Australia adventures. This is just a little bit of a, a little bit of a warm up video before we get stuck in We've got a lot of stuff to do still in um, 
We can't really hit the road just yet. We've got a lot of things to sort out. We've got to build this car up into a big rig. So I want to make the back of the car like a full-on house where we can live, we can edit videos in the back of the car. There's still a lot of things to do, but I'm going to be doing a few of these little quick run around videos to keep my, keep my fishing and adventure addiction at a low and um, obviously keep, keep making videos for you mad dogs, but it's bloody good to be home. That's it. Just like that, breakfast is over. That was absolutely incredibly good. I could just about go for round two, you know. All I gotta do is get the neuter rod out, cast out there, there will still be hundreds and hundreds of herring out there. Nah, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make a coffee. And um, those tailor that we got, like I said, I'm gonna use them for Mulloway bait. So next week, well actually in the next few days, if the weather, if the weather stays good for me, fingers crossed it does, we're gonna be driving up the coast that way, chasing one of my favorite fish of all time to catch. So hopefully the weather stays good. We're gonna use these. So that there, we're gonna use as fishing bait to catch even a bigger fish. So it was good that we got two Taylor. I should have caught a few more, but oh well, that's the way it goes. That was an absolutely bloody beautiful breakfast. I am gonna love his and leave his. I probably might, might even catch a few more herring, but you guys don't want to see that because it's just literally cast boom, cast boom. So I'll see you guys very soon in another video and um, I'm going to start ramping up this Australia footage. Thanks for watching. Much love. Me, the big rig, and probably Mac 10. We'll see you guys very soon. Ow! Oh, I nearly forgot. Also, there is still a 30% sale on the online shop. So if you want to grab, yeah, doggies, hats, fishing shirts, hoodies, Everything is 30% off, so smash this button here. If you're not subscribed yet, you might as well bloody smash this button here because the Australian journey is going to be incredibly good. And um, yes, sir. see you guys in the next video. Hopefully we're using that big dirty bit of bait to catch a big dirty fish.